Hello everybody, I'm Barry John and welcome back to Carmageddon. I have a couple of co-drivers and, well, one of them is holding a map, I think. Yes, uh, I'm AJ underscore Impy and, um, yeah, what do you find, what do you make of this? Um, hey, what about the guy in the back? Does he have an opinion? Uh, are you holding it the right side up? Uh, I'm Speedball, by the way. Hey, hey, Speedball. So, uh, I was off-screen grinding a little bit, and I unlocked Ed 101 in the Tashita. Oh my... Ooh. Uh, oh, so, nice. Ed 101, as AJ and I discussed the last time we encountered him properly, uh, he's a reference to both, uh... The ED-209 from Robocop, and the Terminator 10 or T-800 Model 101 from the Terminator series. It, nice. And he's crazy and deadly as both. Yes, and rides a souped-up um, uh, racing coupe with a cow catcher on the front. Yeah, some kind of a cow catcher wedge on the front. And, well, I would like to introduce you to Otis J. Patty Funk. Who is our first of our, I want to consider, our Tier 2 cars. Oh. Oh, Otis P. Jive Funk, actually, but yep. Who has absolutely no relationship to Mr. T. At all. Of course. Never. None whatsoever. It depends how far the um, uh, Cadillac gets off the ground, I suppose. <laughs> and here we have the Three, second two, island map. One, go! <laughs> And here I am, just sitting around, waiting. Okay, that doesn't count as a guy, if the pedestrians literally walk themselves into me. Alright, so, the Tashita. It is a very solid car, good offense, good defense. Its driving sucks. Like, it oversteers badly. Ah, so it's too sensitive, huh? Yeah. Okay. Like, you can see me trying to correct on this gentle curve, and I keep swinging around the wrong direction. Yeah, there's there's a reason why people usually prefer to use, like, steering wheels or special controllers for most driving games in this era. Yeah. Uh, oh, oh, pinball, oh, pinball, pinball, pinball! Yay! <laughs> Come on, hit the pedestrians! Yes! Not off of the, yes. not over the, over the edge. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yes! Oh, double! And a sub bonus. Oh, there we oh, go. God damn it, Cutter. But the nice thing about pinball mode is that it affects everybody, not just me. Everybody and everything. Mm -hmm. Not so good popping over there. Oh. Sorry. It's a nice rising sun motif we got on the bonnet there. Yeah. True, but this is like... Oh, oh, ow, ow. Come on, guys. Give me a... Oh! Are they gonna... Can they, can they force you over the edge? Yes, oh, yes, yes they, they can. can. So, uh, the Rock Springs power-up. Basically, my car no longer bounces. And Ivan wasted himself, I think. He got knocked off the edge. So... My car, Rock Springs. How best to describe it is a case of I now no longer have any clearance on my car. So I have to be careful because I have to handle curbs like I would if I was driving in Vlad's car. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, that's a nightmare in itself. Yep. So we've gone from this bouncing everywhere to not bouncing. Mm-hmm. <sighs> So, about power-ups, you can only have five active at a time. Uh, so, and usually some of them will counteract each other. Like, rock springs and the bouncy springs will counter each other. Uh, stop pedestrians and hyper pedestrians will counter each other. And, hold on, just catching some more pedestrians here. But there's a few others that basically go, are a case of, yeah, they don't work well together. Come on, come on, come on. Whoa. Nice. <laughs> Just had, barely made it. I had something of a penchant for not making it on the island maps. True, because, you know, you get down under, you get down, you have to take the bypass, and it's actually, you know, 
There's actually some nice goodies down there if you're actually interested in them. I'm kind of wondering, what if this was like, you know, the, uh, what was it, the... It was uh, some racing game that had lots of very risky, dangerous shortcuts built into its maps. Uh, something San Francisco? Uh... Driver San Francisco? Or... Yeah, Driver San Francisco. No, I don't know, because Driver San Francisco was open world for the most part. Oh, okay. No, I'm thinking of an arcade game series. Oh, from the 90s. I know which one you're talking about now. Uh, yeah, I know. Yeah. I don't think it was a... But yeah, that I remember that one because it was an arcade game and it had the. Oh. <laughs> Got to be careful catching the uh, hills here because you don't want to go flying too far too fast and going over the edge. Been there, done that. Just... Oh yeah. So anyway, the, the idea of uh, you know dangerous shortcuts in a, in a race would possibly merge well with this kind of game overall. Uh, but you'd have to design the maps specifically for that, and here, the maps are instead designed to be flexible for multiple races. Mm -hmm. There's no real shortcut because there's no real track, just a vague suggestion. Right. Uh, several vague suggestions, depending on um, which, which race you're on at the moment. Oh! Do you always spin out every time you land from a jump in this car? Bad controls, remember? Yeah. Ooh, good job. Good. Well, I think it was more he hit me than anything else, but because... Yeah, but he landed right on your cowcatcher, so... True. He wasted... The orphanage attacked me, it was self-defense. <laughs> yeah, but I was more thinking a case of... Oh, there we go again. Mm -hmm. I was more thinking a case of uh, because the game does these sorts of things in the player's favor. Uh, it kind of... Ooh! That's three down. This is a good lap. Yeah. I haven't even finished the lap yet. In fact, that's, that's the last one we've got. Yeah. Do I finish the lap, or do I go for... Finish the lap, or go for him? Finish the lap. Because I want to at least show off a lap. Well, yeah, but there are, we, we're still paying down on the race after race where we... Oh, nice one. <laughs> yep. This is a fun power-up which stops them dodging. This plus the uh, Electro Bastard Ray. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so many evil power-up combos in this game. Oh, please. So, balance in this game is a suggestion. <laughs> yeah. Balance in this car is a suggestion right now. Uh, so, we discussed uh, before, you know, how this game has multiple victory conditions. You can either, you know, win the race normally, or you can destroy all enemy drivers, or you can kill all pedestrians. Uh... And well, we talked about how a lot of games don't have, like, multiple victory conditions. Except for the Civilization series, but I just discovered another game that also has multiple victory conditions. And you are really running him upside down. <laughs> yes, yeah, so, unfortunately the pedestrians don't count because he's the one who hits them. Oh, Ooh, is he? Is he? Oh, nearly. Still not wasted after all that. Nope, as I said, he's a tier 2 car. He's actually tougher, faster, and stronger than everybody else we've encountered so far. Oh my god. Which means I have to put so... more work into it. Oh. Boom! So the game I found was something that just got released on Steam. It's called Anti-Hero. Although it's not about gravelly, gritty comic book superheroes. No, it's, it's about... Uh, sort of a turn-based, uh, simple game about Victorian-era thieves, and you win various scenarios or whatever by accumulating victory points, and victory points are accumulated multiple different ways. Uh, you could eliminate targets, and that gets you a victory point, or you could control property with 
by staffing them with orphans, and that gives you a victory point, and so on and so forth. And there are ways of screwing with other people. So victory is never assured at any point for you or the enemy. Uh, so that was kind of interesting. Ah. Holy crap, I saw an eyeball. I saw an eyeball. So did it. Well, time to run away from the cops. Yep. But then... Once they stop oversteering. That's not going to happen. True. Sorry. On the plus side, we catch a few... Did she just apologize? Yeah, she said sorry. Why? I, maybe she's Canadian. I am. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> cutting stops into the ocean. <laughs> Now the question is, can we get the cops into the sea? Yes, but you don't really get a bonus for it. Oh and dear, oh God, that, that two cops, cops on my tail? Turbo two opponents? Oh, lordy. Uh, oh. Turbo opponents? That doesn't seem like a very good thing, unless it makes the opponents, like, steer off cliffs. <laughs> and gravity nope, from basically... Jupiter. We're no nobody's going off any cliffs right now. Nope. <laughs> ooh, 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 solid granite car, solid granite car. And free, free recovery vouchers. Nice. Ooh, but the excellent. solid granite car uh, is the second best power up in the game because it turns your car effect, as far as collisions are concerned, into a piece of level geometry. That is to say, utterly invincible. Which means you convince the others pretty damn well. Just look at those flakes yeah. of cop car flying up from our, our nose there. So you and this guy are, are just continuously just ramming into each other to no avail. Yeah. So, uh, you're racking up quite a lot of profit in this uh, in this match compared to the last one. Yeah. Oh. Ooh, another pedestrian through the ground. Yeah, but actually, you know what? Let's just sit here and kill him. <laughs> 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 oh man! <laughs> At this point, I'm not even driving. I'm just letting him push me. <laughs> just think, we were giving him the same favor earlier. <laughs> yep, that was a perfectly timed uh, recovery too, <laughs> and it was free if too. Exactly then, he would have rammed you into the wall and killed you. Nice. No, I doubt it. Being T-boned like that uh, doesn't really kill somebody unless they're already heavily damaged, but uh, it was just a case of, well, I had a free recovery voucher I could use, so why not let him do all the hard work? <laughs> okay, yeah. Let him do the hard work and finish it by ramming the sidewalk. That was pretty, that was pretty impressive. Uh, yeah, thanks for pushing me into the pedestrians and giving me all the points, ever. <laughs> hey, I did that for him earlier. It was only fair that he returned the favor. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, your, your profit level just, like, doubled uh, in the past two minutes. Yeah. Not to mention the ridiculous I... amount of time we've got right now. Yeah. yeah. Oh, speaking of the timer... It maxes out at uh, 19 minutes and 59 seconds, but it can still go higher. It just won't show anything until we get to the, like, until the timer is reduced to under 20 minutes. Interesting. And hold on, just waiting for the guy to show up. There we go. He's smoking. Let's just finish this off, because honestly, I've completed a lap. Just got to get out of this way. He is not letting us kill him. No. He's got a lot of... What does he have for a cow catcher there? He's got, like, a... Forks? Oh, God, the cor... The cops followed me up here? Oh, no! Oh. The annoying thing is the cops didn't follow you down there. Oh, there we go. Nice one! There we go. Finally. Ah. Sixteen and a half minutes left? That's gonna be fairly nice for a time bonus. This is probably the... 50,000 profit. That's pretty good. That's just the start. Yeah. Ah, well, that was certainly fun. I am not going to drive this guy again because I want my cars to have some set... to be better handling than that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
As far as cars that you could barely control, this was still pretty good for uh, for this run. I think probably wasting three cars in one one checkpoint helped. Yeah, that was yeah. Hitting them all like that would certainly did me favors. Ooh, up two ranks this time. Yep. And but not. What happens when you hit max rank? Uh, stops. When you hit rank one, oh. that just leaves the uh, last few races available for you, and you've pretty much done the game. There's not oh. really a new game plus mode, unfortunately. Not like Carmageddon Two. Ah. Uh. But on the on the plus side, lots of uh, fun things to drive and do. Mm-hmm. Well, it was great uh, to be with you again. Thank you for having me, Barry John. Hey, not a problem, Speedball. 